Hello mga Kapit Angels! Welcome back for another Mathinic episode! This is Teacher Mika and this is Teacher Joy Me. For third quarter's week 6 lesson, we will discuss the relationships of interior and exterior angles of a convex polygon. After going through this module, you are expected to derive inductively the relationship of exterior and interior angles of a convex polygon. A tangram is an ancient Chinese puzzle with seven specific pieces that fit perfectly together to form a square. Those seven pieces are two large triangles, one medium triangle, two small triangles, a square, and a parallelogram. Now, using all the pieces of tangrams, create the following within three minutes. First, the triangle. Second, square. Third, the rectangle, and fourth, the trapezoid. Your three minutes start now. Recall that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. The table that follows illustrates convex polygons with all possible diagonals drawn from one vertex. In each case, the polygon is separated into triangle. The sum of the measures of the angles of polygon can be found by adding the measures of the angles of triangles. Here's the table for the sum of interior angles of polygon. Recall that a quadrilateral has four sides. What do you think is the number of triangles formed in the figure? Correct! We have two triangles in a quadrilateral. Therefore, the sum of interior angles is 2 times 180 degrees is equal to 360 degrees. Next, we have pentagon. Know that a pentagon has five sides. On the figure shown, we have three triangles formed. Thus, to get the sum of the interior angles, we multiply 3 with 180 degrees, giving us 540 degrees. Then we have a six-sided polygon, which is hexagon. On the figure shown, four triangles were made. Thus, to get the sum of the interior angles, we multiply 4 with 180 degrees. Therefore, the sum of the interior angles of a hexagon is 720 degrees. Also, we have heptagon, a 7-sided polygon. 
as shown on the figure, there are five triangles formed. Thus, to get the sum of the interior angles of a heptagon, we multiply 5 with 180 degrees. Therefore, the sum of the interior angles of a heptagon is 900 degrees. Now, the first question is, what is the number of triangles formed in an n-sided polygon? As observed from the table, the number of triangles formed is 2 less than the number of sides of a polygon. Hence, there are n minus 2 triangles formed in an n-sided polygon. And our formula is given by number of triangles is equal to n minus 2, where n is the number of sides of the given polygon. Next, what is the sum of the interior angles of an n-sided polygon? Since a polygon with n sides has n minus 2 triangles formed, it follows that the sum of its interior angles is equal to the product of n minus 2 and 180 degrees. And so our formula would be S sub n is equal to 180 degrees times the quantity of n minus 2, where n is the number of sides of the given polygon. Now let's have the following examples. Number one, determine the sum of interior angles of an andecagon. Recall that the sum of the interior angles of a convex polygon with n sides is S sub n is equal to 180 degrees times the quantity of n minus 2. And the number of sides of an andecagon is 11. So, substituting 11 as the number of sides we have S of 11 is equal to 180 degrees times the quantity of 11 minus 2. Simplifying further using the PEMDAS, we have S of 11 is equal to 180 degrees times 9. Thus, the sum of interior angles of an andecagon is 1620 degrees. Example number 2. What is the sum of interior angles of an 18-sided polygon? Let's have our solution. Using the formula S sub n is equal to 180 degrees times the quantity of n minus 2. n is the number of sides of a given polygon. On our problem, we have 18. So, replacing n with 18, we have... S sub 18 is equal to 180 degrees times the quantity of 18 minus 2. Following the order of operations, we do first the operation inside the parentheses. So 18 minus 2 is 16. Then 180 times 16 gives us 2880. Thus, the sum of interior angles of an 18 gone is 2,880 degrees. Number 3. What is the measure of each interior angle of a regular dodecagon? Since a regular polygon with n sides has n interior angles, it follows that the measure of each interior angle is equal to the sum of the measures of all interior angles, which is 180 degrees times the quantity of n minus 2, divided by the number of interior angles, which is n. So in this problem, having 12 as number of sides of a regular dodecagon, we have 180 degrees times the quantity of 12 minus 2 divided by 12. Simplifying further using PEMDAS, we have 180 times 10 divided by 12. And 180 times 10 is 1,800. And then divided by 12 is equal to 150. Thus, the measure of each interior angle of a regular dodecagon is 150 degrees. Example number 4. Determine the measure of each interior angle of a regular 24-sided polygon. Remember that a regular polygon has all interior angles equal in measure to one another. Using the formula, to get the measure of each interior angle which is 180 degrees times the quantity of n minus 2 all over n, where n is the number of sides of a given polygon. 
we need to replace n with 24, then follow the order of operations. We do first the operation inside the parentheses. So, 24 minus 2 is 22. Next, 180 times 22 is 3960. Lastly, we divide the number of sides, which is 24 for us, to get the measure of each interior angle. Thus, the measure of each interior angle of a regular 24-sided polygon is 165 degrees. Example number 5. Find the measure of angle E in the figure below. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex 4-sided polygon is 360 degrees. Thus, adding the given measures in the figure we have 132 degrees plus 108 degrees plus 78 degrees plus the measure of angle E which is the unknown is equal to 360 degrees. Combining like terms, we have 318 degrees plus the measure of angle E is equal to 360 degrees. Subtracting 318 from both sides, we have 42 degrees. Hence, the measure of angle E in the given figure is 42 degrees. Now, let's talk about exterior angles of a polygon. An exterior angle of a polygon is an angle outside the polygon formed by one of its sides and the extension of an adjacent side. Regardless of how many sides there are in the polygon, the sum of all exterior angles is always going to be 360 degrees. But let's think about why. Let us observe the following polygons and make a conjecture about the sum of the measures of exterior angles of a polygon which is 360 degrees. What can you notice? Okay, if we combine all of the exterior angles by rotating or by the amount of terms in order to get to the next side of the polygon and if we keep on turning, will get back to where we started from. All of these turns add up to one full revolution, doesn't it? And remember that a full rotation is 360 degrees. Thus, the sum of exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degrees. Example number one. What is the measure of each exterior angle of a regular nonagon? The measure of each exterior angle of a regular polygon with n sides is 360 degrees divided by n. Since nonagon has 9 sides, we will substitute 9 in place of n. So we have 360 degrees divided by 9. Thus, the measure of each exterior angle of a regular nonagon is 40 degrees. Example number 2. Determine the measure of each exterior angle of a regular 30 gon. Since the measure of each exterior angle of a regular polygon with n sides is 360 degrees divided by n, n or n is 30, we will substitute 30 in place of n. So 360 divided by 30 is 12. Thus, the measure of each exterior angle of a regular 30 gone is 12 degrees. Example number 3. How many sides does a polygon have if each of its exterior angle measures 20 degrees? Recall that the exterior angle of a regular polygon measures 360 degrees divided by n. Now substituting 20 degrees, since it is the given, in place of the measure of each exterior angle, we have 20 degrees is equal to 360 degrees divided by n. Multiplying both sides by n, we have 20 degrees times n is equal to 360 degrees over n times n. Simplifying, we have 20 degrees n is equal to 360 degrees. Dividing both sides by 20 degrees, we have 20 degrees n over 20 degrees is equal to 360 degrees over 20 degrees. Simplifying, we have n is equal to 360 degrees divided by 20 degrees, which is equal to 18. 
Thus, a polygon is an 18 gon if one of its exterior angles measures 20 degrees. And lastly, example number 4. Find the value of x in the following figure. We know that the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon is 360 degrees. Substituting the given values, we have 79 degrees plus 58 degrees plus 85 degrees plus 88 degrees plus x is equal to 360 degrees. Combining like terms, we have 310 plus x is equal to 360. Subtracting 310 from both sides, we have x is equal to 50. Therefore, the value of x in the figure is 50 degrees. For your drill, answer the following questions considering it is a regular polygon. Comment your answers with your name, school, and section. That ends our lesson today. We hope you learned something. See you on our next episode, Calcute Angels. Keep safe!